Hello, my name is Natalie. Welcome to my channel Diamond Painting by Nat. In this video, I would like to show you how I glaze my diamond paintings and seal them with clear cast or resin, to be precise. I actually received many questions regarding it after my two previous videos where I applied clear cast on my paper towel and diamond painting. Here is a paper towel with applied clear cast on. And here is my diamond painting. To tell you the truth, it didn't even occur to me back then to show you how to apply a clear cast because I just follow the instructions uh, that come with um, the kit. But still, there are a few moments you should take into consideration while the process. I'll show you how I personally did it. This is a clear cast. I purchased it in Michaels. Actually, there are several brands in the store. And um, the price range is between $16 and $23, depending on the size. I got this one, it cost $16, plus I used a coupon, and I paid around $8 for it. When at home, I was very surprised it didn't come with a few tools that I saw other brands come with, and maybe because it is a small size, I don't know. But before you start, you would need the following accessories. The rubber gloves, a brush, you can use any actually. You would also need two identical containers. It can be glass container, doesn't matter. And a wooden stick. Since I didn't have any, I had to take a sushi stick. And I would also advise you to use something, maybe some cloth or a vanil, um, tablecloth, I don't know, to protect the surface you are going to work on. As to the clear cast, it comes with two bottles, resin and hardener, plus instructions. That's it. It doesn't include anything else. But again, you will need all the rest for your project. What you would need to do? Uh, to tell the truth, it is uh, more advised to use a measurement cup, two measurement cups for both or two identical containers. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but there is the measurement on those two cups. Each container for each bottle. This is for the resin, this is for the hardener. What you have to do is to pour equal amounts of both liquids. Pour resin in one container and then absolutely the same amount of hardener in the other container. So let's take the resin first. Pour it. Absolutely the same amount as the other one. So if you have a measuring cup, measure it. And the hardener, absolutely the same. So as you can see, absolutely two exact amounts. Now, what you have to do is to take the stick and to start mixing the resin for full two minutes. Count 120 seconds. It is really very important to do it for two minutes. Make sure you're mixing it in a clockwise direction. That's how it's going to look after it is mixed, kind of like with bubbles and uh, blurry. So after two full minutes of mixing, we need to pour the contents of resin into the second container and using the stick, mix it again the same way in clockwise direction for another full two minutes. So we are pouring it in, into the hardener resin into the hardener. You don't have to mix 
the hardener alone, okay? You need to mix only the resin for two full minutes, then empty the resin into the hardener and mix it for another two minutes. Try to get as much resin out of the container as possible. And you know what else I would recommend you? Try to get the plastic cups and uh, disposable ones and throw them away after the um, first use because it's a pain in the back to try to wash them. Usually you need to use nail polish with uh, acetone in it to successfully wash it, but even with that one, I was not very lucky. I first used the glass measurement cups, not even the measurement cups, I had uh, shot glasses that I never even used, so I decided to use those for uh, mixing the clear cast, and I ended up throwing them away because it was a pain to try to wash them. So, once we mix two liquids, you need to mix them again with the help of the stick for another full two minutes. So, we are doing that. Count. Okay, done. That's how it looks when done. Not sure if you can see it well. And now, what you have to do is to apply it to the... Um, to your work, to your artwork. If it is done in a painting or paper towel or anything else, for this we would need the brush also um, as soon as you finish using this brush try to use a uh, nail polish remover with acetone in it uh, in order to wash all the clear cast away because I didn't do that with my first brush and I had to throw it away. I washed it with the water but it didn't really help. So what you can do when applying the clear cast on the painting you can either use the brush and start applying it you know like this or you can pour it and spread it with the brush whatever is easier for you okay i am um applying it to my full diamond painting it is a full crystal diamond painting it didn't really sparkle before the clear cast and <laughs> I doubt it will sparkle much after. You can take the excess of clear cast like this with a brush if it is way too much. Just do not pour a very thick layer of clear cast but um, do not pour a very thin one either because it's not going to look pretty. It is recommended to pour it as soon as thoroughly mixed carefully over the surface in an even pattern. After about 15 minutes, air bubbles created while mixing will rise on the surface. They can be easily and effectively broken by gently exhaling on them until they disappear. But to tell you the truth, I do not have really that many bubbles. So, the clear cast is applied. Now, for it to get dry, picture with applied clear cast. First of all, you need to store it in a dust-free room, but in my experience, it's better to cover this painting with some container for the dust not to get accumulated. So if the room where you store this uh, painting until it gets dry is 70 degrees Fahrenheit, for the hard cure, you need to wait for 72 hours. In my experience, it is usually 24 hours. If it is 80 degrees, 48 hours. 90 degrees, 36 hours. The warmer the room, the better. Here it is. It's done. Once it's dry, it will look absolutely the same as it does now in my experience. So it shines, it doesn't sparkle much, but again, it didn't really sparkle much before. Because the drills on this painting 
are not very faceted. It's, uh, it was my very first diamond painting, very first one, the one that I tried. Yeah, very first completed diamond painting. And by the way, after um, you applied a layer of clear cast, if it is not enough, you can reapply it uh, like in, I don't know, a day later, for example. Once the first layer gets dry, you can apply the second layer. Do you remember I sacrificed one of my diamond painting, the partial ones? This one, the snowman. So uh, I didn't do a good job uh, at the beginning. What I did, I applied another layer of clear cast. But I would like you to know that I don't know if it is this kind of canvas. I didn't have the same problem on my other ones, on the fish one and on this one. Look over here. Do you see as if uh, the canvas is leaking um, and I don't have this kind of issue on other diamond paintings that I applied the clear cast on. So, and I don't know why only on this area under his mouth. So this is it. I just wanted to show you how, how I personally apply the clear cast on my artwork. I hope it's gonna help and give you at least the understanding of what to do. But again, as soon as you purchase a clear cast, just follow the instructions and you will be able to finish your projects pretty quick as well. Thank you so much for staying with me and see you soon.